What's up, y'all? It's my preview video for Week 16. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers will be traveling to take on the Houston Texans. Um, before we get into that, lots of shit going on. Um, we know AB's out. The last, next two games should be back for the playoffs. Um, I think the Steelers should probably sit Joe Hayden into the playoffs too. Just my opinion. Uh, just rest them to the playoffs. Um, after all the bullshit that happened last night, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, we lost the game, like I said. Um, but after all the drama and all the bullshit that happened last night, uh, we got to fucking forget about all that. None of that matters right now. Only thing that matters is what we do next Monday when we play the Texans. Um, Texans are 4-10. and 10. We'll be going to their stadium. Um... You know, the Texans are 4-10 for a reason, but let me first off get into, I thought Houston was going to win this division at the beginning of the year with Deshaun Watson. Uh, they had a lot of injuries this year. been very unfortunate for the Texans. Um, this season could definitely went the other way around for them if those injuries didn't occur, but we know injuries are part of the game. Look at our team here of late. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, we go to Houston. Um... TJ Yates or Tom Savage. I don't know who's starting. I know Tom Savage had a concussion a few weeks ago. I don't know who I think Yates played yesterday. Um, that's who we got to prepare for. Um, you know, we they have DeAndre Hopkins, who you can never underestimate. One of the best and, uh, receivers in the league and one of the most fun to watch uh, receivers in the league. That will be their offense. They also have Lamar Miller who at running back. So, um, you know what it is, uh, when preparing, take the best player out, uh, of the offense. So get pressure on the quarterback, uh, so he's not able to make those throws down the field to Hopkins. Um, and then shut the run. You gotta get, we gotta keep, we gotta get better at the run, stopping the run. Of course, there's gonna be holes without, uh, Shazier there, but other guys need to continue stepping up. Um, I thought Cameron Sutton did a good, has been doing a good job. So that's why I say sit Hayden, you know, there's no need to rush him back right away if Sutton's going to continue to play good. Um, yeah, but that's what we got to do defensively, in my opinion. Uh, take, take Hopkins out the game, um, uh, shut down the run as usual. Like I say in most of my videos, is the formula for success on defense. Um, we got to get rid of the penalties, the penalties of, uh, penalties just been ridiculous all month, the last fucking four games. Uh, I'm not going to get into officiating and all that, you know, but I mean, the, the, not, not just in the Stiller games, just all across the league is just, it's bad, man, and it's just pathetic, but, um, we got to eliminate the penalties, uh, and stay injury free. You know, you know, defensively for me, or with, excuse me, offensively for me, uh, it's the same old run the ball, throw the ball, mix it up, balance it out, and score touchdowns. And because uh, there's no reason, let's let's be real here. I I don't have no hate for the Texans or anything, but uh, there's no reason why we don't go in there and smack shit right out of, uh, especially coming off a loss, a devastating loss. Uh, I think Pittsburgh will be determined to get back on the winning ways, and I think that's, I know that's what's going to happen on Christmas. Uh, I just don't. Come on, let's be real here. Uh, let's look at Houston's roster. I mean, now I know on any given Sunday, right, or Monday, whatever it's going to be, uh, it could happen. But I just don't see it happen unless there's a huge injury or something crazy happens. I, I don't see the Texans beating the Steelers. Um, I just don't see it happening. Even with A.B. out, uh, the Steelers are deep at receiver. Uh, Antonio Brown can't be replaced. Uh, he's the best player on this football team. But uh, other guys will have to step up like Eli Rogers, um, Tavis Bryant, Juju Smith-Schuster, man, who's going to end up being a hell of a receiver for us. Um, Jesse James, look for him to make some plays as well. But, uh, yeah, I just think Pittsburgh's just – 
a way better football team than the Texans. Now, I know they have trouble with teams with losing records, but coming off this loss to New England, I don't see them – I see them finishing the season 13-3. Uh, and three. They'll win these next two and get into the playoffs. Because uh, we have to win out to keep the two seed because Jacksonville's right behind us. Um, interesting shit, but – uh, I know this game, you know, when it was before the injuries, this game was would have been a big time game as well. The injuries just kind of have uh, not only hurt us lately, but really it really has destroyed the Texans' season. Uh, Self destruction. I mean, they just they can't get going. Um, but we, you know, whatever quarterback they start, you should. This, there's no reason why the Steelers' defense shouldn't be comfortable getting some sacks and getting some turnovers. Uh, and I think it being on, you know, prime on live TV, you know, Christmas Day, the Steelers are going to be ready to roll uh, and get back on the winning ways. Uh, just That's just my opinion, and I feel highly confident and strong about it. Um, you know, James Conner, uh, I'm not sure what the significance of his injury is. Um... We get Marcus Gilbert back. We'll just have to see, man. Um, and keep going. You know, it's, it's been a whole lot of talking um, from just the media and people everywhere. I just want, you know, everybody needs to chill out, man. Let's worry about the Texans right now. Uh, and focus on getting this next W. As fucked up as the shit was uh, last night. Um whether it was or wasn't a touchdown, it was ruled it wasn't a touchdown, and we took a loss. We just have to deal with that. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. And the only thing you can worry about now, like I said, is the Houston Texans. Um, but uh, Texans game, like I said, they're 4-10. and 10. We're 11-3. and three. Um, Just trying to continue to lock up the number two. Unless some kind of crazy way New England loses. Which it wouldn't hurt my feelings none. Um, because, like I said, Jacksonville's right behind us. The uh, playoff races are heating up. Crunch time. Two games left. Let's go win out. Let's go win these next two games. And uh, just see where it puts us. Uh, we got to take care of our business and not, don't worry about nobody else's. That's the only thing. Um, that's what it is from here on out. We got to take care of fucking business. Um, we got the Texans. We're at Houston. Then we play the Browns at home. Those are two games that we should deliver big wins on. Um, that just should. That's just the way it is. And then we'll get into the playoffs and see what happens from there. Uh, like I said, I think we should sit. Well, we will be sitting AB. But uh, I think it would be probably a good idea to keep Joe Hayden sitting to the playoffs too. Just to make sure he's 100% when he comes back. Um, for the long run, you know, for the big time playoff games. But, uh, yeah, man, just ready for the Texans game. Shout out to Steven Rose, who reps the Texans on here every year, every week. Um, he's the only Texan fan I know anywhere. Uh, so shout out to you, man. Uh, good luck on, on Monday, on Christmas. Because uh, we're coming for a W, uh, especially after this uh, heartbreaking loss. We really need to get a W because we need some medicine. Um, yeah, but shout out to everybody, man. This is my preview video for the Texans game. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins is the man you want to stop on that offense. Uh, but let's go get this W, man. I'm out. He's stuck. Peace.